Alright, what is going on guys? Try Hard Casual here with the second episode of Should You Buy It? The series about talking about some of the niche items in RuneScape and just kind of going over the pros and cons, you know? Where are they useful? Are they even worth buying? Do you personally want to buy it? We're gonna go over all of it. So I want to start this video with a thank you and an apology. So I want to say thank you because the first episode got a lot of traction compared to what I was expecting. Like, thank you so much for that, that's crazy. It's actually the second video that was ever picked up by the algorithm for my channel, so I'm thankful for it, you know, and that's why I'm doing it again this week. I'm following it up right away. Which leads me into my apology, so I want to say sorry that the Cerberus video I had planned isn't going to be out this week. I have all the footage, I have the script, it's all going to be ready for next week. I promise. But on this episode, I wanted to talk about the Dragon Bone Necklace and the Bone Crusher Necklace. They're basically the same item, except one of them has an additional item combined onto it, which I'll talk about in a little bit. These items were pretty much considered dead or super niche content when they first came out, but there was an update not that long ago that made them actually not half bad, and I just want to talk about it because I feel like there's been no discussion about it, like people haven't re-evaluated the worth of the item since the update. So here we go, let's get into it. Alright, for those of you guys that don't know, the Dragon Bone Necklace restores some prayer every time you bury a bone. It's actually the same effect that the Catacombs of Karen give you whenever you bury a bone in there except it's wrapped around your neck and you can use it wherever. This does not stack with the catacomb effect, I just want to make that clear. But don't forget, we're also talking about the Bone Crusher Necklace, which is the same thing as the Dragon Bone Necklace, except it also has a Bone Crusher built into it. So what it does is automatically bury any bone that drops on the ground, so you don't have to manually bury them. There is a little bit of a requirement to put it on first. You need to have level 70 prayer or higher. They actually put some attack bonuses on it, and they give you a little bit of melee strength with it. Which is nice on its own, but it's nothing special. The really big change that they made is that the item used to have to be equipped for 9 seconds before you got your prayer back every time you buried a bone. So right now, as soon as you put the necklace on, if you bury a bone, you'll get your prayer back. You don't have to wait 9 seconds anymore for it to activate. So I'm gonna say that's a pretty substantial change for the item. And for it being only like 60k or 70k, it's, it's under 100k for this thing, so it's like a nice utility piece you just want to have anyway because it's so cheap, right? So this item is going to be best in slot for prayer bonus in your next slot. Typically you don't want to just camp wearing it though. There are certain situations where you could, you know, just if you want to, but in most situations you don't want to just camp it the entire time. You want to have it in your backpack, then you want to swap into it when you want to use it. Let's actually talk about the areas you're going to get some use out of this thing though. I think the first place that comes to mind with this item for a lot of people is using it at Maniacal Monkeys. You're going to be camping prayer, you're going to be killing a ton of monkeys, and you're going to need your prayer back. And you want to stay down there as long as possible, so this item helps out with that a lot. So maybe if you're chinning down there, got your anguish on, your prayer starts to dip a little bit low, you just slap on the bone crusher, let it charge back up, and then swap back onto your anguish once you're ready. You won't use a single prayer potion, I mean it's as simple as that. I also think it's fairly obvious that Slayer has a lot of utility options for this item. I mean pretty much any monster that has low defense, that you're going to camp prayer on, that drops bones, all of these play into what the Dragon Bone Necklace can help you do. I'll put a little list on screen, you know, you can just see some of the monsters this is useful at, it's not all inclusive. I want to say I've heard that at Hydra, this is a very useful item because you can restore prayer every single kill. The bones take up a lot of space in your inventory and this will help alleviate some of that while also giving you prayer back. Now this is more of a fun area to use it at, but any group activity, any mass world that you lose a little bit of prayer or you want to camp preserve to keep your boosted stats up, you know, like Winter Todd or Zolcano, even the Nightmare Mass World. You know, anywhere the players are going to die and leave some bones, just have a little bit of fun and bury them, and it can kind of be efficient that way. But obviously that's just for fun. I can also see this being very useful at Nightmare Zone. If you don't want to spend money on absorption potions, you're just going to be camping prayer the whole time. As I've said, you know, that's the theme. Anywhere you want to camp prayer and there's bones to be had, this item can see some use. I also see a lot of opportunity with this item for using a cannon. By chance, I had a Slayer task to kill Dagonoth, so I went down into the lighthouse with the Dragon Bone Necklace on to see how it held up. I camped Range Prayer the entire time and I used Piety a little bit. I didn't have to use a single sip of a Prayer Potion. Because the cannon is doing most of the heavy lifting and the damage, you can really skimp back on offensive gear and get some more utility pieces. 
But you can see here that on the Dagonoth task, I used a Bracelet of Slaughter, I had a Ring of Wealth, and I had the Dragon Bone Necklace on, instead of the offensive pieces that could go there instead. And despite that, I killed over 200 Dagonoth within 15 minutes, and I didn't have to use a single drop of Prayer Potion. I mean, it kind of speaks for itself with how nice that is. It didn't really slow down my XP an hour, didn't cost me any extra time. I mean, I'm sure it would have been a little bit faster, but 15 minutes is, you know, it's still nothing. That's nothing for a task. Save some money, you know, save money on prayer potions. But now for the real questions here. Would you want to buy it, and is it worth it? Just purely based off of the fact that this item is so cheap, I think everyone should buy it. It's not going to break the bank. You don't need a lot of money to use it. It's just a might as well, you know? Why not have it in your bank? But is this thing actually worth it for you? You know, are you going to actually want to take it with you and swap back and forth on your task? I think this is great for players that want to save money. You know, they like the penny pinch. It'll definitely let you save some money on prayer potions. There's no doubt about that. I can also see this being very good for Iron Man because it's a little bit harder to acquire prayer potions since you can't just buy them. Of course, if you're an Iron Man, you actually need to get this thing from killing Hydra, which is 95 Slayer, and you'll probably be way far in your account before you can actually do that, so... Eh. I mean, even if you don't want to use it for the prayer restoration, you can just keep the necklace in your inventory and it's going to act like a bone crusher, just to get a little bit of passive prayer experience. I almost forgot to talk about that, that you're going to get some prayer experience while you do this because it automatically buries bones for you. And at the end of the day, isn't passive prayer training experience the best kind of experience? I think so. I think that makes it efficient. That's why I have one. That's why I take it with me whenever I go on a task. Even if I don't use it for the prayer, it's just there. You know, why not? Of course, if you guys could think of any other areas this item would be useful, definitely let me know down below. I'm always looking to expand my RuneScape knowledge, you know, make myself feel a little bit smarter, make my, <laughs> make me feel a little bit better about my life choices of sinking so much time into RuneScape. If you guys enjoyed the video, a like on it really goes a long way to help out the channel. I still have a ton of items I want to do for this series, and if you guys like it, I'm going to keep them coming. It's as simple as that. I'm excited to say I'll be streaming tonight for the very first time. I'm going to be killing the Hunlip and the Corrupted Gauntlet. You know, come around, say hi, say you saw the video, and that's what sent you there. Because I want to see you guys, I miss you and stuff, and you never come by. But, I hope you guys all have the most wonderful day you've ever had. And I'll see you in the next one.